All right, YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to jump start your motorcycle or your car with the impact tool battery. Real simple. You can even do it with a Dewalt, any kind of drill. As long as they have a battery like this, it'll work. And uh, right here, your battery, I don't know how well you can see. It's marked positive and negative. So we'll put the negative in there first. And the clamps on there real neat with these clips. I don't know where I got them from, but they work perfect. And I won't do the hot one till I get over here. I don't want to hit something accidentally and make some sparks. I haven't had a bike since the 80s, guys. And uh, I want to see if this fires up. I've been working on it. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to see if it fires up. And if it fires up, I'm going to take it for a cruise. But uh, I wouldn't recommend driving with a battery like that. Just use it for, to jumpstart your vehicle and it'll work perfect. I've been, I haven't done a full video on it or a detailed video on it because it's been years since I owned a bike. I had a bike back in the 80s, a Harley Davidson. And uh, I'm getting back into the themes here. Uh, my bike was old, it was just kickstart, didn't have electric start. Let's see where it happens here. Set it down here. Okay, I'm clasping it to the negative. Now I'm gonna go with the positive. We're in. And hook it up on the positive. Do we have juice? So the lights come on. Yep, I hear the pump. I've been having trouble with the kill switch. Let's see if I hit start. That's pretty good, guys. I'm gonna get a new battery. See if that one will take a charge. I'll just let it die out when the battery wears out. reason I did that, I turned it off by just putting it in gear, is because I don't want to mess with this button. Let me show you. 
think I'm having trouble with this kill switch or the start button. I'm pretty sure it's the kill switch. So I think if it does it again, I'm gonna have to open this up and clean that connection in there because it's, sometimes it's making contact and sometimes it's not. Okay, I took the battery out because I'm gonna try to charge it, see if I can save it. If it takes a charge, cool. If not, I'm gonna have to buy one. I'll probably order it because uh, I've been trying to get parts for this as I'm fixing it up and uh, all these places here don't have it. They, they tell me we have to order it. In that case, I'll just order it myself. But anyway, the point of this was you can start your vehicle with a uh, uh, cordless uh, impact drill or gun and uh, it will start your vehicle. I wouldn't use it to drive around like that. You know, I just did it because I do stupid stuff sometimes and, you know, it worked, but I wouldn't use it to drive around town and stuff. I just wanted to start it and I just couldn't resist not taking it out and feeling it, you know. Like I said, I haven't owned a bike since around the 80s and uh just wanted to see how this baby handled and it handled real nice but uh anyway thanks for watching and like always i really appreciate you and god bless